Hello, today I'm going to go over exothermic and endothermic reactions identified. So all we're doing is identifying whether these reactions that I have down here are endothermic or exothermic. Now, the image is a reminder, endothermic reactions take heat in. Exothermics give heat off. So the actual reactions, do they do, do they take heat in and it feels colder or do they give heat off and it feels warmer? Um, so you have to think what's going on in each one. So melting ice. When ice melts into liquid water, it absorbs heat energy from its surroundings to break the hydrogen bonds holding the water molecules into a solid state. The important part is the absorbs. So if it absorbs energy, it is endothermic. And you just write endothermic right there. Look at number two, combustion of fuels. When fuels such as gasoline, natural gas, or wood burn in the presence of oxygen, they release heat energy along with light and often produce carbon dioxide and water as byproducts. Release. It gives you an idea there, right? Right. It gives you a little hint. If it's releasing energy, that is exothermic. And you would just write exothermic down here at the bottom. So read the rest of these. Think about whether they're taking in energy or giving off energy. And um, tell me which of each of these processes are for each example. All right, thank you very much.